welcome back to my youtube channel you guys in this video i'm going to talk about how i'm going to get my curls back and what's the secret ingredient that i use that's been making my hair grow almost to i think i'm almost at um the bottom of my back or past my bra strap for sure so if you're really interested in growing your hair extremely fast like and thick and full and get rid of that gray hair <laughs> you guys need to watch this video because i'm about to tell you yes this hair is about five days old you guys and i've been cheating a little bit i've been using some very inexpensive cheap gel and this is the result it gets it really dry and i haven't been putting my bonnet on because i haven't had any time but this video is going to be really quick so just stay bear with me i'm really going to tell you guys really soon what i use and everything that's really speeding up my hair growth and the secret ingredient that i actually put in my shampoo right here like this gradient right here uh, it's a little nasty off the wall, but you will see an improvement in your hair like within, I think I saw it within three weeks. I saw an improvement, a different, especially around my edges because now they are, they're still thin, but look at that length. Like that's edges, y'all. They're long. They are long. And no gray hair only a couple right in there but nothing too crazy so all right so i'm just going to introduce real quick some of the products that i'm going to start off using in this video you guys because i did go to the curly con and i received a lot of products i want to see what this bonding curly cream is about the ratings wasn't really that high on you know healthy ingredients but i'm also loving my olaplex 5 this is something that i use quite frequently and i'm going to put a couple of this oil that had really high ratings i put that around my edges i like to put that after my wash day you know uh, before i wash my hair and I've been using it already. I really like the smell of it. <sighs> I really just like it. I really like how it looks and everything. It's so pretty. Like, uh, thing I love, I love, and it's so affordable. I just wish it came in a bigger container. Is the Kinky Curly Knots today, you guys. This is the number one thing that I love using to detangle my hair, to style my hair, to get it back soft, silky, and it really helps me to prevent breakage as i'm detangling it so i do finger detangle my hair a little bit when it's dry just a little bit you see how it just really needs it and then when i do a nice little uh rinse i'm gonna put just a little bit of this to really detangle it even more before i actually put the shampoo in so that's my technique that's what works for me and taking this lint but no that is not the secret ingredients so i got more tips to tell you so over all the items that i showed you that i do put in my hair i really really love this it's Begogio, don't despair, repair. Now, I see an incident like change like overnight when I use this product. So this product really, really works for my hair. My hair really likes this product. It's really for, I think, hair that has, that's very dry and that's thick because this is very thick and it smells good. But again, this one's extremely organic and healthy. And you see, and it's really expensive. So I try to not waste it at all. Only use as much as as needed because this honey child, this really helps. Okay, so I'm going to actually start off shampooing my hair with, yes, Shave Moisturizer Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. This one I really do like. I've noticed this one works more for me than the other one that it's Shea Butter. It's, you know, everything in there no 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 you know like no parabens no sulfate no wax none of that crazy stuff no extra fragrance i do put a secret ingredient in there as i'm putting in my hair i'll tell you what it is and you can kind of tell from my reaction you know and I decided to actually put it in my shampoo because I just feel like I'm going to use it more instead of like making that DIY and just having it stored in the refrigerator and then 
I'm not ready to use it all the time. It's not in my like shower. So this is, it's actually in my shower. I'm using it almost every time I wash my hair. Now I don't wash my hair pr really frequently. I wash my hair almost like, I try to extend it to like seven or nine days. Now I'm in the winter. I'm not trying to like wash it too much. I don't want to dry out my natural oils out of my hair. Enough said, let's get into this. We're gonna do the finger detangling and that's just separating it just a little bit. Now, if you guys have any questions of anything I went over or any of the products, please leave the comments down below. I am here to help you guys improve your hair quality, your hair texture, and your fullness. And that's why I gave these product reviews on my hair channel. I do have another channel right there. Ah, there we go. You can finger detangle your hair um, dry or wet, whatever works for you. I noticed this really helps me with my wash day, so. Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo, you guys. I put onion juice in there. Don't be mad. I put the purple onion juice, or they call it the red onion, and I juiced up a whole onion, and I actually strain it really well with a cheesecloth or you use a stocking, and that abstract of juice I put up to like maybe here and then it had that much shampoo and I've been just using it shampooing it and uh yes it is slimy stinky but it works so I like using stuff that works that's affordable that's organic and that's all I can tell you guys if you want to grow your hair fast quick and healthy and shiny with less gray hair and get the fullness onion juice is my secret ingredient now I did use a little bit of clover, looks like that. Oh, I'm cold right now, that's why I'm like, I'm so cold looking. Um, the clover looks like that. I did put a little bit of that in there and I did put just a little bit of olive oil in my mixture because I, I wanted it to be a little bit, you know, slimier. <laughs> so yeah, I don't refrigerate it, I just let it 
sit there, but I'm making sure I don't put in a full bottle of shampoo because that would probably spoil or something. Give it a nice uh, massage, you guys. Stimulate that blood flow. And this is all the benefits that onion can do for your hair right there. And that's why I love to use onion. Yes, it has great benefits in the clover. Also has great benefits as you see. Make for sure when you're giving yourself a nice massage to stimulate that hair follicles and that scalp and bring up that blood flow to your areas of where you want your hair to grow. Do not use your fingernails because that can damage your actual hair follicles. I'm using like the little palm or the finger print part of my hand and massaging it quite hard with a lot of pressure and moving it around. Not too rough, but rough enough where you can feel your skin actually moving. You don't have to do it till your arms are tired or whatever, but just do enough where you feel like you're doing something. You know what I mean? So, get into that. Now it's time. I'm not leaving the onion juice that long in my hair, you guys. Sometimes I leave it in for only 10 minutes. Sometimes I'll leave it in for a whole hour. But I have things to do and I want to get this video over with. I'm not trying to make it too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it out. After you smell like food, you don't smell like straight up onion, you know what I mean? And I am putting great conditioners in my hair that's going to override the actual onion. So yeah, you don't walk around like an onion. And you got perfume, right girls? And you got great lotions that smell good. So no, you're not gonna be smelling like no onion. Come on, get out of there. Don't you hate when that happens, you guys? And it's like, come on. And it's like when the product finally comes out, it doesn't even make it on your hands sometimes. It's like waste of product. But anyway, I don't put that much Olaplex on there as you see. I just put the Olaplex 5 in my hair, you guys. This is the bonding. This is really going to seal all your split ends. And it's good for conditioner or shampoo. Some of the new bottles don't have shampoo on it. It just has only conditioner on it. But I put a small amount just on the top where I feel like it's damaged the most and I do my ends. But I do mix it with other products. I am going to mix it a little bit with the Dojo Don't, don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner Mask, you guys, because this one is a mask. And it's going to really help finger to tangle my hair a little bit. I'm not really generous with the amounts that I put. I really put not that much, but I try to find the areas that's kind of matted and I kind of lay it on there like this, like that, like for real. <laughs> you gotta just know your hair, understand your hair, take time to really figure out what works for your hair. You know what I mean? And what your budget is. If your budget is a little bit lower, then do a lot of DIYs. As you see, there's a DIY right there. That one really works really well, and it's very affordable. Those avocados don't cost that much, and they do the trick as well. And that one works good for over time, so you're not going to see, like, an incident, like, oh, my gosh, my hair is so long and shiny. It's going to work if you do it consistently, you know? All of these, you have to do it, you have to maintain it consistently. It's not like a one-time situation. Ooh, there we go, I'm feeling it. Just to show you guys, and I... <sighs> it doesn't take that long for me to do a good wash day, to detangle my hair, but I'm really not trying to pull out my hair, so like that knot right there has to be fingered out. like. But after I put the product in, I just want to show you guys. I use Demi brush. You can get this on Amazon. They have some even on Sheen. 
I always hold my hair so it doesn't really pull the tensions of my hair follicles sometimes. And if you're tender headed, it helps out too. I haven't really been putting heat in my hair at all, you guys. I really um, put heat in my hair only like three times or five times a whole year. Cause I'm really trying to get my natural curl pattern back. I'm trying to get my natural hair. I love my natural hair. It being at a natural state with the right products. It can just feed the hair and it, it will listen to you. I'll just say that. It doesn't give you such a harder, hard time. So just with that little bit of products, that's what I already did to my curls. Just wanted to share you guys how healthy they look and that is the front of my hair. So let's get into the whole style. My hair is about almost like a C, a 3C and a 4A. I have about four different types of hair textures in my hair. Some are more wavier and then some are like tighter curls. The tighter curls gets matted and that's like the bottom down here. Even though the, the hair is getting weighed down because the length and then you see the wavy hair right here on the top. So. All right, before I rinse it out, you guys, I'm just gonna make a part so I can have it exactly how I want it when I style it. Is that straight, you guys? I style and do my hair and everything in the shower, you guys. So it's less of a mess. I get it done faster and my hair has to stay really wet and damp with, with products. So I'm just going to part it in the middle. If I can. <laughs> All right, that's the two parts. And then I do a total of four part. And I'll do another part here. Look at those. have the conditioner still in there you guys I haven't put the kinky curly in there yet because I'm just going to make sure I leave this in there for 15 minutes but I really want to detangle and finger detangle the hair just a little bit more to that point so I brushed it only halfway I'm not going all the way from here because that needs more water and I like to do that when it's under the water to really get all the tangles fully out. So now that I got that in a good little moisture situation, I'm gonna put a little do not in there and then tend to this. This is super matted right here. You guys don't see it. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the don't spare repaired and really whip that in those areas. Sometimes I realize when the product is first, when, when I first put the product on the hair, I don't feel it really working and I, have to, I feel like in a couple seconds, it does something to the hair. Then I feel like, oh, okay, now I can work it through. A lot of my videos, you guys, my tutorial videos about my hair and stuff, I really don't talk this much, but a lot of people have been asking more details. You know, they really wanna know how I got this long, healthy hair. So I'm really trying to help you guys because everybody can have this length. It's not inheritance. It is a little bit what you eat too, I'm not gonna lie. And it is about quality of like, how do you take care of your hair, you know, and patience. And I don't drink that much water, but I don't drink soda, y'all. Drink a lot of tea. So water is not like the 100% key. Ow. All right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for 15 minutes, you guys. Sometimes I'll put a cap or a plastic bag over it, but don't have time to be doing all that right now. So we're just gonna just make for sure it's combed through enough, at least halfway. And let's show you guys half of my head, brushing it and everything, the hair that I shed. 
or pulled out. <laughs> not that much. And that's all because I used my secret ingredients, that onion, y'all. I'm not lying. That onion is really good. It really builds up the strength of your hair and less hair fall. Like, that's not bad at all. That's half, okay? So. And then put this tip in there so it can get moist. And start the process of this side. And I'll see you guys on the rinse conditioner in there just for the shine but what do you guys think are those curls popping or what okay so now I got it at the stage where it's so easy to glide my dimmy brush through my natural curly hair and now it's time to apply some gel yes I'm going to show you guys the gel that I use that is very affordable all right, this is the part where I got to see how long my hair is. And yeah, it's that long because the onion juice. It's gel, you guys, because it's no alcohol, but it's very affordable. It's $3, but it really weighs down my hair. I don't recommend this gel. It just works for me because I don't see no flakes and it weighs it down. But I do like to put a little bit of this hemp Indian because it really promotes hair growth and it's organic and healthy. And it smells delicious because, you know, we put the onion juice in the hair and this helps speeds up hair growth as well. Oh, it smells good. So I combine those together. It's no like secret way or anything. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I actually had to re-wet my hair because it got tangled again just shooting the video. Like That's how fast it dries. So I had to re-wet it and I brush it while it's wet in the shower. Prevents breakage for me. I'm going hard with a lot, a lot of gel because I like it to weigh down. Because girls, you all know that second and third day, the hair is like nice and big and thick. So on the first day, it's just too crunchy, but it's okay with me. I don't use no heat, so I don't use a blow dryer or anything, but I do wrap it up sometimes. Look at that. This is still knotted and matted up, but it's okay. You don't have to get every single knot out. You know what I mean? You're, if your goal is length retention like me, then this is not gonna bother you as much, you know what I mean? But if you're really for like style and, you know, to get it looking correct, then yeah, you might wanna get all the detangles out. But for me, my goal is always length. So I'm just piling on there. I just pile a big clunk. <laughs> and then I separate it with my fingers. And then I'm gonna go in later with my brush. this thick clunk. <laughs> Sometimes I like to use this demi brush too for the curls. It just depends. Because it's, now it's so clunky, I don't want to pull the hair too much. There is some other gels that I really recommend that I like a lot more. Kinky Curly has a great gel. Camilla Rose has a really great gel. 
but they're all $20 plus and I like to apply a heavy amount. Now special occasions, yeah, I will put the high end better gel, but this doesn't do me any wrong. It, it just weighs it down. It's not as curly, but my main goal is no flakes. That's what I don't like at all. That just looks ridiculous. So, this is with product. This is no product. Just wanna show you guys. Look at that shine. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button right there i really appreciate it, it helps the algorithm help push my video and share this video with people that are struggling with their natural curly hair right now or they're ready to jump and do a hair journey okay come on and do the hair journey with me there's my instagram right there if you want to send me any product and give it a review and i love you guys to the star moon to the back peace love harmony i'm freezing <laughs>